Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Stellaris Utopia. In our last episode, we became the vassals of the Yorokso Collective, the other small hive mind on the block. And I asked people to go ahead and comment on what they wanted to see happen with the playthrough. Well, we got a couple comments, but we're going to follow through. So we're only going to come back when something interesting happens. So what I'm going to do is we are going, I'm going to play for 10 years and we'll come back in 10 year instances or if something super interesting happens, I'll come in before that 10 years is up. So right now, before we start, 2274, uh, we have got Shurgamore is our only system we currently have. If you remember, we lost uh, the home system of Eucolonia. Uh, Shurgamore Prime is kind of where our... Is, is basically our refuge in space for our population. Uh, we're currently living here and regrowing. We're in the middle of building a new spaceport so that we can start to recolonize. Now, because we're part of this alliance, I'm hoping that we won't have to worry about a lot of combat, so we're going to focus on infrastructure over this time, as well as hopefully rebuilding our empire. As you can see, we are tiny. Everybody else rules space. We're hoping that by hitching our wagon to one of these guys, we are going to be okay. So folks, here's what's going to happen. We are going to zoom into the star of Shurgamore, and as we do, we will warp time we will return in 10 years, or if something amazing happens, I will see you then. Folks, we're back for what looks to be a monumentous time. You'll notice um, that it's not been 10 years. It is not 2284. It is 2279. And you'll notice the system we're in is the Mucolonia system. And what has happened? Well... Let us zoom out on the map. If you remember, when we left, we were building this little section here because we wanted to colonize a planet to get close to Mucolonia. But since then, a couple things have happened. Let me run you through the timeline real quick. So first, um, we found a derelict ship in a gas giant in the Diub system. That is this 112-strength uh, ship. It's not a big deal. It's just we have, we have something in the sky, at least. But... Uh, in 2277, two years ago in game time, this section right here, uh, our populations that were left on Mucolonia died off. They hit that point where they were too far from the hive mind, it had been too long, they died. I was in the middle at that time of building the colony ship to send to Mobian to take over Mobian, uh, which planet? Mobian 1A. But, at that exact moment, this happened. So we've rushed in our construction ships to Mucolonia. And here in Mucolonia, we are building a frontier outpost. Now, because we're a vassal, we can't just spread. We have to... it, it adds an extra step, unfortunately, for us. Um, we have to build an outpost first. Ooh, I just thought of something. Yeah, we're good. Uh, we have to build an outpost first. Uh, before we can build our colony, which that that kind of sucks for us, but it's okay. It's okay. It's letting us get our influence out there. But we are in the middle of building this outpost right here, and as soon as that finishes, we have a colony ship in orbit above Gur, above the home planet, ready to reclaim what was lost. Folks, are you ready? Let's see this happen, shall we? We'll go ahead and go at a normal speed. This is about to finish. Let's see what happens with our influence here. Construction complete. There we go. All right. Um, we have completed our frontier outpost. And now we have control of this sector. So next thing we'll do is we're going to grab our colony ship. We're going to select Gur. We're going to colonize Gur. Where do we want to put our colony base? Uh, Gur is gonna go right. Ooh, let's get some science out of Gur, shall we? Where can we get the most science? I think we can get a lot of science right here. And we can get some energy and minerals. Actually, if we go... Yeah, that seems best. Okay. Boom! 
Gur, the home planet. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, we're landing our colony ships. It's going to be a little bit of time before that colony is complete. So we'll let some time go by. Now, this is going to probably put us into border contention with the Otaga Battle Clans. In fact, I am still worried about them. In progress. Yeah, we've got a little bit of border friction going on there. So I am concerned about this. They can always declare war on us again. They really still don't like us. We could lose that again, but you never know. I'm hoping that since we're a vassal, they would decide to declare war on uh, the Yoroksa Collective before us, even though we are way bigger uh, in size. Ooh, so what are we going to do? Well, we still have a couple planets down here that we could colonize, and I think what I would like to do is I would like to lock off a little bit of space for ourselves. Uh-oh, peace, what happened? A peace offer. Oh, the Ixodar Star Collective. There's a little bit of war happening here in the north um, between Ixodar and this group right here, the Damana Council. Not really that important to us. So I would like to lock off a little bit of space for us. Maybe if we could lock off a little section for ourselves, that would be good. So, oh, we also researched uh, hyperspace lanes. That's what these little green lines are. We can see everybody's hyperspace travel points. So, for example, the Ajams, um, I don't know what kind of space travel they use, but if they use hyperlane travel and we cut them off here, they wouldn't be able to enter our space. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to send our constructor ship down to Dosal. And that is where we had a colony before. If you remember, Hope's Tendrils is here. Uh, we had that colony beforehand, so System survey complete. I'm going to try and send this ship down here and see if we can't get a hold, maybe lock off this part of space for ourselves. Hopefully the Otaga don't go to war with us. We're going to have to grow slowly. Now, speaking of growing slowly, what I want to do is, again, get these bases locked off, and then I want to start our infrastructure, building up our infrastructure. That's what happened last time. We had this bigger empire, but we had junky planets we were going to lose because the population couldn't be part of us. And without an infrastructure, you'll see our we didn't have enough minerals, we didn't have enough science, we didn't have enough energy. It was all just in bad shape because of the complete lack. Um, ooh, got some science ships just kind of sitting around while we're talking here. Let's uh, get them going. Why can't you go here? Oh, it's too far away for you to travel? How is that not? It's in our warp line. Why can't we do this? I can travel here, but not here. Weird. I don't know why I can't warp to that when it's obviously within my warp sphere. Huh. Well, we'll survey these systems then. Oh, maybe it's just too far away from from our actual home that we can't travel that far. Okay. So we've kind of gotten to the edge of where we can travel as well in the, the northern part of space. So our ship's going to head down here. We're going to build a frontier outpost. Uh, our current monthly gain is 1.68. So we can afford to build one more frontier outpost and still be positive on our influence. So that is what we are going to do is build one right here. Uh, let's see. What should we look at? I'm also researching better warp technology because right now to get from Shurgamor to the frontier, a ship has to go out this way and up through the trunk system and then make its way over just because our warp engines aren't good enough. I want more powerful warp engines. So that's one thing we're currently researching as well. Now just so you can see our research while we're here, uh, we are currently researching better warp, uh, the ability to build a planetary capital. Because we lost Gur, we no longer have a planetary capital, and without that we can't build some of the higher end structures, so we need to be able to do that. And of course we're researching better missiles, but that doesn't really matter. We're not, not, not doing a lot of fleet stuff right now. 
So here we are. Let's grab our construction ship and let's build a frontier outpost anomaly right here. Uh, we've got an anomaly. Uh, detect some unusual energy readings from a planet. It might have been a glitch in our system. It could be a sign of something more. Let's go ahead and research that. So what we'll do is we'll colonize this, I think. So we'll do one more big colonization. Uh, can we afford it? Yeah, we can for now. I'm, I'm happy to do this. Spaceport. We can almost build another colony ship. I think once we get another colony going, then it's time for infrastructure. It's time to start uh, building up our the main planets we have once we get back to three colonies and just get those up and running. So we will wait a second here for our minerals to build back up. But I'm real excited because we're about to have Gur back in our back in place. Uh, Sugarmore Prime has built up a little bit of infrastructure as well. It kind of kind of sucks this building these colony ships. That's the other thing. Colony ships are such a drain on your economy. Uh, it, it's difficult, but you can see our influence is starting to spread out a little bit. Oh, I'm feeling good, feeling good. As long as Otaga doesn't go to war with us. Um, the magnetic field of Orbium-6 experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the ISS Schalger. This rare event has interchanged the position of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Intriguing. So, here we go. It's about to happen. Gur is about to be ours. Our science ship is constructing our little section here. Oh, um, established. there we go. We're back in it, folks. We are back. Gur, the home planet, is ours once again. Oh, I feel so good. All right, so Gur is going to need food. Uh, so let's build ourselves a... Hydroponics farm, they're cheap, it's worth it. That way we don't have to worry about the population starving. And, uh, ooh, Gur is going to come back to us. I am so excited for that. That's awesome. That is really awesome. And then we're going to be able to get Hope's Tendrils back in the fold. And then we're just going to, to go nuts. What is, there are armies moving around up here? I'm concerned. We are going to just go nuts as far as infrastructure on our kind of tiny little empire that we're building back up. I think that's kind of how Yuruxo stayed in here so long and didn't get attacked yet, is because they're so tiny that the the other system survey complete. Other uh, oh come on brain work from here. Other space empires didn't really pay attention to them. Uh, we're finishing up some of our system surveys up here. Let's keep going. Let's see how far to the north we can get. There we go. Uh, the Jehetma Coalition and the Jehetma, uh, the two Jehetma groups, which are right here, the Dominion and Coalition, these were a splinter group. One broke off from the other. They're still kind of fighting it out. Here among in between the Fafossans. Kinda neat that they've taken over this. Did they colonize here? Yeah, they did. Look at that. They put a colony right there in the middle of their space. That'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh Gur is building up its hydroponics, and we're gonna build one more colony ship. Boom, that's gonna take about a year to build. So, folks, here's what's going to happen. I am going to break away. Uh, well, this, about 15 minutes is what this episode is at. We'll, we'll take a quick look here at Gur once it's finished before we break complete. away here. System survey complete. All right. I don't care about the system survey. Let's go to Gur. Boop. Here we are. I am just super excited about this. Gur is back. So, Gur is going to need some infrastructure. We're going to be focusing on that for our planet, which is awesome. Uh, we are also going to need to focus on one more colony here, like I said, and we're going to look at 
building our little empire, getting our infrastructure built back up in all our colonies. Uh, beyond that, if we have enough food, another thing I've noticed, the Otaga Warrior Clans, I think they're having a food shortage because if we talk to them, what's our trust at? Nothing. If we offer them a trade deal, we try to give them food, look at this. They love food. Look how quickly this goes up. So, I wonder if we gave them one food a month. Wouldn't that up our trade deal? So if we give them one food a month for 30 years, we have the extra food. We're going to do that. Confirm. So... I'm going to start giving the Otaga Battle Clans food in the hope that that will... Uh, a fine gift, Slurpernor, you have our thanks. In the hope that that will lessen their hate for us. So we have a favorable trade deal, plus 22. Um, and I want to see if that, you know, kind of offsets some of these other problems we have. It's going to be a very long time before their hate of our genocidal ways uh, disappears, apparently. Uh, but hopefully they don't go to war with us again. Like, that is just a problem. I wish we had uh, the ability to, you know, maybe not worry about them going to war. But, who knows, they could attack us at any moment. We are still in danger here. And why is the Pagon just sitting up here? Oh, because it can't do anything. That's right. Well, let's have the Pagon return home. Maybe we can get it better warp engines. Or it can help us research eventually. So we'll go ahead and research complete. send him home. Looks like we finished up some research. Our antimatter missiles, level 3. Advanced missiles equipped with very powerful antimatter warheads. A new and improved guidance system gives them a better chance of finding their targets... Okay, again, we're not looking at, at war, we're looking at our own colonies and, and infrastructure, so build buildings faster, mining network, get more minerals, infrastructure, uh, ships, 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 don't care about ships, um, deep mining core, or better space stations. Uh, if we do better space stations, we could eventually build bigger ships if we wanted, but more importantly, um, we would be able to build a lot more modules in space if we need to. You know, let's go for the building speed. Let's increase the building speed. Let's do that. Because we're going to have these new colonies. We're going to need to build the infrastructure. That's going to be important. And we're about to finish out our new section here. It's about to finish. We might as well let this finish for this episode. Come on. Construction complete. There we go. All right, so we've got another little spot in space. Folks, we are going to wrap up the episode here. You have the general plan. It is 2281, which means that when we return, it'll be 2291. Unless something else big happens, folks, we're back. Gur is back. Can I move Gur up? Aw, oh, no. Gur is back in the fold. We have reclaimed the homeland. The Great Mucus is back. All right, folks, that is where we're going to end this episode. I know it's not as long as some of the episodes have been, but you have to realize that for this uh, 20 or so minute episode, there has been a lot of gameplay in the background. Just a lot of me sitting and watching, basically. So, folks, I will leave you now, and the Great Mucus will return in 10 years in our next episode of Gaming with Grug. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please tell your friends, like, comment, and subscribe if you could on the videos, please. And as always, we hope to see you soon.